Testing, testing, one, two, ichi, ni, san, chi, go, ro, kyu, si, chi, achi, un, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse, of course. Now, today, very, very special video, as we're going to be doing the unboxing of the Pico Neo 3 Link, because of course, this is the Pico Neo 3 Pro. So today we're going to do the unboxing only. And in the next video, we will actually do the power turn on and also compare the graphics and everything else. But before guys, do remember to go into the link in the description below after this video, so you can enter to win a brand new HP Reverb G2, as well as a brand new pair of cyber shoes, the gaming station, the cyber carpet, the chair, everything that goes with it, as well as a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you'll be able to redeem against any VR titles inside of the Meta Oculus Quest 2 store, Vive Port, Steam VR store, and now, of course, the Pico Neo 3 Link store as well. And by the way, it is sponsored by HP and also by Cybershoes, so they'll be the ones to send you those cool prizes upon hitting the 11 thousand subscribers so do make sure to go to that link as i mentioned after this video so you can enter to win it's completely free all right guys so back to today's video where we're going to be doing the unboxing now so i place the camera somewhere where you can see and let me just position myself properly so you can actually see let me bring the chair back there we go all right awesome let me take my Scissors, do, 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 do. All right, let's do this together, guys. I literally just got it, like about five minutes ago. It's absolutely amazing. First of all, I'd also like to thank all the people at Pico and also the um, the PR company that deals with Pico Frenzy. Thank you so much, and all to your team as well. You guys are absolutely amazing. Now, there are some differences, apparently, compared to the Pico Neo 3 Pro. And of course, make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe so I can show you and describe to you all these various different differences between the two. And yeah, so, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm almost there, guys. Let me just do that. That'll be easier for me. There we go. There we go. And I got the nice, I got the window open today for the first time. There's no air con in my room, so that's cool. And I also put some hand sanitizer all over the package, disinfect the package, just to be on the safe side as well. All right, here we go, here we go. Whew, yeah, a bit of drama, a bit dramatic. All right, brand new box, guys. Very different box already. Look, if I just show you what the box looks like from the back point of view, as you can see, it already looks very different from the original uh, packaging. As you can see, Vimeo, Table Tennis 11, After the Fall, Walkabout Mini Golf, puzzle play, Puzzling Places, Super Hot. You can see these here, the images here. So they're doing a little bit what basically Oculus and Meta do when they basically market their headsets to the consumer. And it also says, by the way, uh, two in one. So here it says two in one switching. Uh, here it says cutting edge technology, Pico platform. And here it says all in one play. So very excited. Ooh, God, it's like Christmas coming early, isn't it? All right, let's get this out. Let's get this out. There we go. And whew, let's throw that out. All right, let's check out the packaging some more. So here we have some uh, some images here of the dude who's in the video. I don't know if it's the same guy in the videos, but as you can see, there's a picture to say that basically it's compatible with Steam VR, and then you have the laptop here. Now we have the power. Uh, we we have the G7 by HP, by the way. So I will be testing it out using a laptop as well. Uh, of course, comparing it to the to my PC. And then here on the other side, we don't have much, just something in red here. Let me just read it very quickly. Um, okay, it just says that you have to be careful. Some games require some precaution, basically, so that's what it is. And then on the other side, no picture of the headset. That is very interesting. So the only picture of the headset is on this side, and that's it. No other picture of the headset on the actual front. So the front is kind of um, a kind of purple tint color box. 
I guess. But yeah, very exciting. All right. And it says Pico Neo 3 link on the box here inside. It says link and not pro. So good job on the packaging so far. All right, let's uh, bring this in here. All right, and I want to be careful with the packaging. I want to make sure I keep the packaging as intact as possible. Let me just cut that out. There we go, got it. Let's get rid of the plastic. Oh, I'm so excited, guys, very excited. I have to say that I do use the Pico Neo 3 Pro quite often with the wireless streaming technology to my PC. It does a great job when I'm next to the router, that is not when I'm away from the router in a different room, it doesn't really work well, the latency does occur there. The DP4 KVR cable is actually pretty good. I have to admit now, in the original Pico Neo 3 Pro, the cable was additional. Let's see if it actually comes inside of the box here. All right, so let me see how to get. So basically there's a wrapper that you need to get rid of, like so. There we go. And guys, did I mention that we're doing the brand new giveaway of the HP Reverb G2, as well as the Cyber Shoes, the Cyber Gaming Station, and everything that goes with it. All right, so now after you wrap it up, the box should be completely white on all sides. So there you go. And it, there's definitely a smell there, like a brand new kind of smell, and also an emboss, an emboss of the Pico, Lego, uh, Pico logo here. It will be embossed on the packaging here. I uh, don't think there's anything else. Nope, that's it. Oh, are you guys excited? I'm so excited. I'm always excited when I'm opening new stuff. It's just really cool, especially when it's VR stuff. The box is pretty big. I have to admit, it's very different to the previous box. Ooh, there we go, guys. Here it is now. I'm going to be careful. I'm not going to throw this, this away because, of course, original packaging, always keep it as much as possible, as new as possible. All right, so basically, guys, this is it here. Just want to make sure it doesn't fall over. There we go. Here it is. And uh, let me try to bring some light to it. There you go. Look at this, guys. Look at this beauty here. It smells very, very new. There's definitely a, a smell to it that like, hey, this guy's brand new. It just got printed or manufactured in the factory, put inside, put in the box, and the box smells very fresh as well. So yeah, it looks very cool, guys. Looks really awesome. So far, so good. And I will show you on this video a little bit later on the differences between the Pico Neo 3 Pro and the Pico Neo 3 Link in terms of the actual build itself. So let's check it out. Let's uh, get it out now. Let's look in the boxes before we do the meat. Let's uh, have the first course or the appetizer as, it, as we call it. So in this box here, there are some instructions, which I guess is, I guess this is the instructions. Yes, it is, I was right. Why do people still place those? We never read them anymore, right? Okay, then we have inside the box as well, still continue. It looks like we have some kind of spacer. Yes, that's true, that's right. So there's a spacer that comes with it. So basically for those who wear glasses, uh, let me just, that. Okay, so for those who wear glasses, basically, you know, can put the spacer in to give yourself some room between the lenses and the actual headset itself. So good to have. Um, it's very plasticky. It bends. It's very. It's very. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's, it's a spacer, it's there, okay? Just don't do this too often, otherwise it will snap. So just don't do that. That, that would be my, my recommendation. Let me just put that there, put that there. And then we have a um, USB-C charging cable, which comes with it as well. There we go, that's there. And then we have the actual adapter charger. Here we go. So that's just the... Uh, to put the USB-C cable in, put that there. Get rid of these boxes, there we go. Then the other box, which is this box here, this must be the 4K DP cable, I would imagine. So as you can see, I open it up. Some more instructions, put those there. 
And then we have the 4K DP cable. So this is basically the cable you'll need in order to power your, your Pico uh, Neo3 link to a PC VR uh, PC and then open up your Steam VR games if you want to have 4K um, you know, resolution inside of your headset or the best resolution as possible because the headset is still HD. It's 1920 by something. It's just like the Quest 2, same resolution in terms of the lenses. So you're not going to get 4K high fidelity like you would, for example, on the HP Reverb G2. But the biggest difference between this headset and the HP Reverb G2, of course, is you don't need the cable to access your Steam VR. You could also do it wirelessly without the cable, um, which you cannot do with any PC VR headsets, whether it's the HP Reverb G2, the HTC, or Pimax, or you know any of those other headsets at this moment in time, the time of this recording. So basically, what you'll need is you'll need, this will go inside of your headset. You'll need a screwdriver, which they provide, which is here. This is the screwdriver that they provide. And basically then you have your, let me just put it back. Then you have your display port, which is this one. Then you have display port, which is this one here. And then you have your USB-C, uh, sorry, USB-A 3.0 that you put, a uh, 2.0 for the Pico, by the way, not 3.0 required inside. So you just put them side by side and boom, it'll power uh, everything that you need. And then of course you need to go to the Pico website to download the software. Now apparently some users have been telling me in the comments of previous videos of Pico very recently, so do go and check out those videos, that apparently the software doesn't work yet and there will be some updates at the end of June, uh, sorry, at the in June um, in the Pico to fix that. Now I will test to see if that's true or not, because of course, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not sure if that's true or not, so I need to go and double check all those facts before we uh, say whether it's true or not and if there's a workaround. And then here are the controllers. So the controllers are like the similar, let me take the controllers for the Pico Neo 3 Pro just to show you. So this is the Neo 3 Link. You can see the sticker here. There's a little sticker on the front. So this is basically the battery sticker. Now before I compare Let's just open it. So open it is very easy. And there are batteries inside already, by the way, there. Now the batteries for the Pico Neo 3 Pro last so long when it comes to inside of the controllers. I think I changed mine like after three weeks or four weeks. Um, you know, and I've played probably a good 150 hours on the actual headset itself. So uh, that just goes to show. So this is the Pico Neo 3 Link. And this is the Pico Neo 3 Pro. Now you, the way you can differentiate is that on the Link, you have this sticker here, which is a lime green. And on the Pro, you have a dark green sticker here on the left-hand side. And they are exactly the same. So same button, same weight, same length, same width, same absolutely everything. So those who have a Pro, uh, I will test whether you can actually uh, hook up the Pro controllers to the link, like whether you could pair them or not, for those who have a Pro or not. Because then you can keep your link controllers aside, put them in the box, keep them there. And if one day anything happens to your pro controllers, then you know you can do the switch at that time in point. So that's all good now. Let's get to the meat, guys. Let's get to the meat, guys. Let's get to the meat, guys. All right, let me get some light. Sorry, some accessories just fail. Nothing important. Okay, there we go, that's that. And let me get the other light. There we go, let me bring it in so it's nice and, nice and proper as they say. All right, there we go, done. So, let's get to the meat guys, let's get to the meat. Whew, not even the dessert, this is like the, the everything that goes with it. And I'm going to do some side-by-side -side comparison with the Pro, especially for the strap and also the facial interface. You see the biggest differences there. So first of all, as you can see here, all right, I think my light's a little bit, this one's a little bit, no, it's not this one, it's that one's a bit bright. There we go, there you go, it's a bit better. So, whew, <laughs> here it is, guys. 
This is the Pico Neo 3 Link. Let me get the Pico Neo 3 Pro to see if there are differences. I was told that the facial interface would be different. So let's see if that is true, guys. Let's see if that is true, guys. Now, to adjust the headset is here. You have the battery on this side. You have the actual computation stuff on this side. When you put it on, it will fit very snug. Just want to see, now first of all, I want to try the strap. Just see the difference between, this is the, the Pro, guys. Now, I didn't take the sticker, the original sticker off, and I added a double-sided tape for my Ultra Leap system. Do hit the notification bell after you subscribe because I will do some testing with the Ultra Leap on the Pico Neo guys as well, just to let you know, FYI. So here we go. This is the Pro. This is the Link. As you can see, so far, no differences. Now, let me check the make. Let me check the make of the strap. So let me just do that first. See if it's feels a little bit more bendy. Let me just test. So this was the link. Now, it's pretty much the same, I would say. Pretty much the same kind of plastic. And I have to say that the strap on the Pico Neo 3 Pro was excellent. Absolutely, sorry, this is the link. On the Pro, it was, the strap was excellent. It never snapped, never anything happened bad to it. Now, the only thing that's going to be different is when we put the 4K DP VR cable, if you wanted, of course, to experience PC VR, because you don't need to, inside of the Oculus, uh, inside of the Pico Neo 3 Link, you can actually, as I mentioned before, all your apps will be inside. If you don't have a PC VR, don't worry about it. There are plenty of apps inside. There's another video I did with the store. However, do hit the notification after you subscribe, as of course, I will do another tour of the store inside of the link, just to see if there's any differences between the Pico Neo 3 Link and the Pico Neo 3 Store. Uh, 3 Pro store, of course, because there could be some differences in terms of the software. Now, the other difference is, is actually the padding of, let me just do this, the padding here is different than the Pico Neo 3 Pro. On the Pico Neo 3 Link, which is this one here, it doesn't have the Ultra Leap double-sided tape here, is actually like a cotton, uh, I wouldn't say cotton, but it's definitely a fabric that is here. This is a fabric. And on the Pico Neo 3 Pro, which is this one here, it is a rubber PU leather. So let me just show you the difference so you can see it. Pico Neo 3 Link on the right hand side is a fabric of some sort, maybe polyester, maybe something, something, something. I'm not quite sure of the material, guys. So uh, if you have any allergies to whatever, Please contact Pico first to double check. And on the Pico Neo 3 Pro, it is a rubber PU leather. So do be mindful of that. All right, so there you go. What else? What else is different? Well, the way that you would... Look at that. Can you, can you hear that? Let me, uh, let me do that. <laughs> so the way that you would actually position the headset on your head is the same with a knob at the back and also uh, on the front here they have something to change it here and also yeah that's it so there's one two position only for the top and I would I would recommend for those for women or those who have small heads like children or whatever wear a cap and then put it on because otherwise it's it might tend to fall it's 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 not very, although it does seem to go pretty far in. Let me just check with the, I'm not sure. I think it's the same. It looks, yeah, it's exactly that. It's basically the same. So in terms of going in, there's no difference between the Pico Neo 3 Pro and the Pico Neo 3 Link. It seems that the circumference or the diameter, uh, when you push it in as much as possible. So for people with small heads or children or, or women, uh, you may need to wear a cap. And also I did another video on this where you can create a bun in your hair, especially for the ladies, and then put your headset on top, this part here, on top of your bun. So your bun creates additional space, so it will tighten even better. Uh, in terms of the material at the back here, so this material here, Pico Neo 3 Pro and the Pico Neo 3 Link, it seems to be a very, very similar material as well. 
Yeah, it's uh, basically the same material, I would say. I, I can't for sure say it's 100% the same, of course, but it feels like it's the same anyway. And then in terms of the buttons, all right, let's look at this, let's look at the buttons. Let me just tighten up my Pro. This is gonna be the biggest issue on the Pico Neo 3 Link. This piece of plastic here is so hard to put on. Let's see if they fix that as well or whether there's another way to fix the cable if you want to use the DB4K cable to Steam VR. So in terms of the buttons, as you can see, let me do a side by side again from the front. As you can see, it looks pretty similar, pretty much the same. So you have the holes to put in the DP4K cable. If you want to use the cable, of course, as I mentioned, you don't have to use the cable. You can stream things directly to your PC via Steam VR if you want to play some PC VR games. Or, of course, there are apps inside of the headset, so you don't even need a PC if you don't want or don't have a PC to stream your apps on a PC or you're not developing apps on your PC. The buttons are exactly the same. We have the power button, the USB-C, the DP4K cable, Everything is on the same, and the grill on the front as well is all the same. Let me just do this. As you can see, it's all the same on the front again. Hmm. Let me try and do a thumbnail. Hmm. Ooh. Wow! Ooh! Wow! Yes, that's what we have to do to do thumbnails. <laughs> So, so far, all the same on the front of the actual headset itself. All good. Let me just bring it down so I can do the thumbnail eventually. There we go. This is really cool. So now let's look at inside before I do the actual fitting. So let's look inside here. So basically, let me just bring some light. We're gonna look at the IPD adjuster now, just to see if there's any difference with that, so let me just do that very quickly. So basically the way it works with the IPD is you, you, okay, what I can do first is I can take off this. Let's see if it's easy to take off. No magnetic technology in the Pico Neo 3 Pro, uh, sorry, Pico Neo 3 Link. You just have to remove it. Now be very careful because the little plastic things here are very easy to break. As you can see, the little plastic things there are very easy to break. So do be very cautious when removing and also putting it back on. These little plastic things here and here and here, you know, they're very easy to break. It is very light, I have to say, it's much lighter than the rubber one. And quite uh, curious to try this, uh, this new padding. I will try it on, of course, in just a moment, so do hang around for that. And guys, do remember we're doing the brand new HP Reverb G2 giveaway with a brand new pair of cyber shoes, gaming station, and the chair that goes with it as well, and the US $50 voucher that you can redeem against any Oculus Quest Meta Store games, Viveport, SteamVR games, and also, of course, now the Pico Neo 3 store. You'll be able to buy anything worth up to 50 US dollars because I'll give you the cash. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you cash, and you can decide what to do with it. All right, but of course, you'd have to buy games. So, the IPD adjuster is here. Now, what it is is basically like this. This is the maximum. Now, the further you bring it in, there will be some black around, just be aware of this. So you will lose some field of view inside of the actual headset if you bring it in and then maximum. So there's only three settings. One, two, uh, I'm, at, I'm at the maximum already. So uh, one will be the maximum, two, three. So basically the way you adjust this is because everyone have different uh, you know, distance between the, the eyes or something to the nose. Sorry, I'm not explaining it very well. I'm not a scientist. You can go online and find out what IPD adjuster means or what it's for. But basically, we're all built differently. We have different faces, different um, vision, and also uh, the, the distance between your, your both eyes to your nose or something is different as well. So this will affect the clarity inside of the gaming experience of the headset. So you need to adjust it accordingly to what fits you the best so that you will have the best optimum clarity inside, as I mentioned, when you put the headset on. All right, let me, uh, so it's the same as the Pico Neo 3 Pro, just so you know, no changes there. There's no slider underneath or anything like that. Hopefully with the Pico Neo 4 Link, the future headset when it comes out, they will find another way. Perhaps it will be electronic, it will be automatic, use artificial intelligence, who knows. Um, but yeah, it would be nicer to have it underneath for sure. Uh, 
but you know, cost savings there, I guess. So it, it, it's okay if you're the only one uh, using the headset or you pass it to maybe one brother or one member of the family. But if you're gonna do events uh, and you pass it on to hundreds and hundreds of people, then definitely not friendly thing to have here, both on the pro and the link, because everyone, you know, you want, like I did events as well, and, and, and we did more than almost 10,000 people or something, uh, you know, tried VR when we were doing all our uh, VR demos. And, you know, it goes very fast. They finish after five minutes, six minutes each person. And you want to make sure that every single person in VR has the optimum comfort, because otherwise they can get motion sickness very fast. So that's why it's very annoying to have to do this thing 500 times you know, when you're doing an event, you have 500 people coming in and you have like, let's say 200 people doing VR demos during your event or more possibly. And let's say that you have 10 picos, you know, and, and you're doing like 5,000 people doing demos. Um, then every single person, every time, you know, it's easier if you put it on the face and you get them to do this with a, with a slider and say, okay, by the way, you can slide here, adjust your comfort. Otherwise, everyone has to do it differently. Take off the headset, boom. It's not comfortable, take off the headset, boom. You know, every time you have to do that. So it's not very user friendly. Uh, I, I don't like the system. I personally don't like the system, but you know, it's what it is. So we just make do with what we have. So let me just put back the uh, facial interface on the headset now. Now, of course, as I said, it doesn't have magnetic technology, which means it's a bit harder to put it in because every single plastic thing, see, for example, I'm having some issues. Uh, every single plastic thing has to go within the holes. Now, with the HP Reverb G2, for, for example, I don't have this issue. See, I'm spending, and everything is live, guys, so I'm recording, I'm not editing, as you could tell. The video, not quite sure why it's not going in. Okay, there we go, I heard some crackling. Okay, it's in, so there we go. Now, the moment of truth, guys, let me, um, take off my 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 uh, my headphones very quickly I'm gonna try the headset on now I'm gonna try the old one first and then the Pico Neo 3 link second all right So with the Pico Neo 3 Pro, which is on first, I can clearly see my nose below for sure. There's a lot of room coming in here. And I also, because now I'm by the window, the window's open, it's uh, you know, a lot of sun coming in. I could definitely see a little bit of light coming in from here on the sides here, a little bit of light leaking inside. But of course, I've never really had an issue with it. So, um, but if it is gonna have a lot of light around, of course I would definitely see it here below uh, below where my where basically my, my hands are, okay? So I will see a lot of light here because there's a big, big amount of space. And also, it does feel very hard for me. The rubber doesn't really take my face properly because I've got a smaller face in terms of the, the width of my face and the actual headset is quite wide. So after a while, uh, you know, it, it also, when it heats up the headset, the rubber, it's okay to be there for an hour, but after another, generally speaking, I would take it off and put my HP Reverb G2 back on again uh, if really I want to come back and do some experiences at my PC and not somewhere else in the house where my PC uh, isn't available, right? Or where I don't have the laptop, for example, my HP G7 uh, you know, available, then of course I will, you know, but yeah, after one hour or so, one hour and a half, I will definitely take off the headset. All right, let's try the other headset now. Let's try the Pico Neo 3 Link. Whew. I'm very excited. So for the Pico Neo 3 Link with the new the new mousse, the new mousse definitely feels much softer on my head for sure. Now there is definitely a new smell, so it's like a chemical smell. So what I advise you do, just leave your 
just leave your headset alone away for maybe three, four days or something. Uh, don't touch it and then put it on your face because if you're going to be in VR for quite a considerable amount of time and you know it smells chemical and it's pretty strong it's not maybe healthy for you so I completely advise just leave your headset away for a few days let the smell go away <laughs> it's, it's actually pretty yeah, it's pretty strong so that's what I generally would do but in terms of the, the fit itself it fits okay the glasses no issue with the glasses all good so far. Uh, I can still see underneath. Let me just make sure I'm, yes. I can still see underneath for sure the same amount of light, but on the sides, I don't see as much light coming in because the padding is able to be more flexible on my face, especially when I bring it closer, it's more flexible. So it's actually creating less light coming inside. And if I take off my, my glasses, in fact, let me just try that. So when I take off my glasses, there's also less light coming in from the sides. But as you can see, there is still a gap where I can put my finger in, but definitely less light leaking coming in compared to the Pico Neo 3 Pro. The Pico Neo 3 Link is definitely better in terms of light leaking. There isn't as much light leaking simply because the padding of the facial interface is better than the rubber one, which is very hard, very stiff. So it doesn't really give a lot of flexibility when you put it against your face to actually block the light coming in. So I definitely think that Pico have done an awesome job here already in improvement in terms of immersion when you're inside. Although when it comes to the below, I can clearly see a lot of light uh, here as well still. And I will, you know, like I can put two, two fingers two fingers up quite easily. So, you know, I think this, for me, compared to the, uh, for example, to the HP Reverb G2, there's no light whatsoever that comes in. It's completely darkness in there, and I definitely prefer that. But in terms of comparing it to the Quest 1, which I used to have, of course, we never bought the Quest 2 uh, because we don't support Meta's products on this channel. Well, at the end of the day, um, you know, it's already a much better job not too bad, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a good time in this. But of course, make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe, as I will do more videos when I do the power turn on, and also testing out the software, making sure everything is working, and also comparing what's inside the store compared to the Pico Neo 3 Pro. All right, let me just uh, turn off, take off my uh, headset. I just want to compare to see what's the difference when I put a hat on, just to see the differences. Yeah, it definitely holds onto my head much, much better when I have a hat on. So when I have a hat on, it definitely feels much more snug. Uh, in fact, there's even less light coming in now because the, the hat is acting as a umbrella, let's say. And it's, it's also helping to fill the gap inside where the light could come in potentially on, on the sides and it's not coming in. So it feels much, much better, much tighter on my head, just more comfortable in general. So I would definitely advise wearing a cap. Just try wearing a cap if you can, see the differences. And if really you find it's not, you know, suited for you, then don't wear it again. But I'm just saying maybe you want to try because at the end of the day, it does provide a better experience for me anyway. All right, guys, so there you have it. We did the Pico Neo 3 Pro versus the Pico Neo 3 Link, and we did the Pico Neo 3 Link unboxing. So there you go, guys. There you have it. The Pico Neo 3 Link and the Pico Neo 3 Pro. The Link now is on my left-hand side. The Pro is on the right-hand side. So yeah, this is pretty, pretty awesome stuff, guys. Really excited, so as I, as I mentioned before, make sure to hit the enable bell after you subscribe, as I will be doing a lot of testing, including through the lens testing as well and comparing it again to the HP Reverb G2. And don't forget that we're gonna be receiving the uh, Big Asus E4 by DPVR very soon. That's a tethered headset, however, for PC VR, not a wireless streaming headset where you have the apps inside of the actual headset. 
That's coming very soon too. So a lot of videos coming up. Guys, I mean, look at this. This is, this is really crazy. You can see the, the picos there. You can see them there. All the picos there. And then we have my HP at the back. So yeah, very, very exciting stuff, guys. Thank you for hanging around. Thank you for spending some time together. Have an amazing day today. I will see you in another video very soon. Bye, guys. Whew, I'm pumped. All right, time to test the headsets. Oh, and remember, guys, upon hitting the 11 subscribers, you could be a winner of the HP Reverb G2 Cyber Shoes and also the voucher for the VR game. So go to the link description below in three, two, one.